Hey friends, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area. And I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. Well, we are getting close to the holiday season. And for a long time, I can definitely tell you that decorating for Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, all of the holidays is something I did not do. Being someone who helps people organize for a living and also someone who didn't have a lot of storage space, I just was coming from a very practical place and was like, well, I don't have a place to store these decorations when I'm not using them. Um, and to me, they seemed a lot like clutter. But a few years ago, I decided to delve in to the world of decorating for the holidays. I've only chosen one single holiday to decorate around, and that personally, for me, is Christmas. And I, I love it. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll remember one Vlogmas, actually the first Vlogmas, I actually got a Christmas tree for the first time, my very own Christmas tree as an adult. My husband and I went out to Michael's, we bought a Christmas tree, we bought Christmas decorations, we bought ornaments, we bought like all kinds of Christmas things, and I had a blast. So I'm making this video for all of you who are not into the world of decorating for holidays, but wanna get into it, wanna like dip your toe into it. I have some advice for you to help keep it organized and clutter free and not have it take over your entire house. All right, let's go. Before we get started, I am super, super happy to say that this video is sponsored by my good friends at Cricut. I've had my Cricut Joy for a while now and I absolutely love it. It is so fun as someone who loves to label things, Cricut is where it's at. So we'll talk about custom labeling for your holiday decor as well as custom labeling for everything else in your home, but also some stuff you can do with your Cricut to decorate for the holidays that doesn't take up a lot. So my first bit of advice for you, if you are jumping into the world of holiday decorating but don't have a lot of space to spare, is to rein it in a little bit. There are a number of things that are consumable that make great holiday decorations. Seasonal gourds, you can paint them, and after you're done like admiring them, you can actually eat them. Imagine that. You can use pine cones, branches, things you find in nature that you actually don't need to store when the season is over. You can just compost them, put them back out into the yard for your dog to play with or squirrels to eat. Provided you didn't spray them with glitter or any of that stuff, you know, just have them natural and then put them back. My next recommendation is to decorate with holiday crafts that actually are small when they're not on your wall. You can hang snowflakes from your wall, from your window. When you're done with these paper hanging decorations, they store flat, they don't take up a lot of space, but they make a big visual impact when they're on your wall or when they're hanging from the ceiling. They're super pretty, they're super easy to make, and they store flat, and you don't have to like dedicate a bunch of space to store them at all. You can even make 3D decorations that are that actually still store flat, you know, like like this. <laughs> My other bit of advice to you, if you live in a small space and you're sort of jumping into this for the first time, is to get mini. We didn't go out and buy a big full-size Christmas tree because we just didn't have the footprint to put that, but we bought one of those mini pencil trees. And you know what? The pencil tree got some hate in the comments a few years ago. Y'all, it is my Christmas tree. Do not talk about my Christmas tree. I love our little pencil Christmas tree. It's so cute and it doesn't take up a lot of space to store. So if you don't have a big footprint in your apartment, but you have at least like maybe like, I don't know, 13 inches in diameter, you can put a little matchstick tree or a little, um, matchstick tree, is that the right word? You can put a little pencil tree and it'll be just fine. You can decorate it. Ours that we got from Michael's is lighted so we don't have to add lights to it. They're already on the tree. And we got some cute little ornaments to put on there. And it doesn't take up a lot of space at all. I don't need boxes and boxes and boxes of ornaments at all. My other bit of advice is that you definitely do not need to go out and buy specially made ornament storage and holiday storage just for the holiday decorations. Any kind of storage vessel will do best for you. The best place to store holiday decorations if you really don't have any space is under the bed. Now you know that I don't like under the bed storage, but if you must, this is the best place to put holiday decor because it's, a, it's valuable real estate. You can buy an amazing under the bed box or under the bed drawers and just pull them out when you need it. So it's, under the bed is a great place for things you don't regularly reach for but need a place for. 
under the bed, just consider it. But keep in mind, it's my last resort. I had our Christmas decorations for the longest time in our storage unit, which actually was outdoors, open to the outdoors. It was like a cage outdoors. So I had it in a weatherproof bin, which worked really well. It protected it from the elements, but it still wasn't my favorite choice. But if you must store them outside, make sure you store them in a weatherproof bin <laughs> or something that has a really nice um, gasket around the outside so that it doesn't get affected by the elements, humidity, all that stuff. And lastly, because you don't need to buy special holiday storage, you can make custom labels with your Cricut. And it looks just as awesome as if you went out and spent like $100 on a special holiday ornament storage box. Look at mine. I'm going to show you how I organized my box as well as how I created this super cute label with my Cricut Joy cutting machine. My Cricut Joy is so small, it fits into this little drawer and it's perfect for people in small spaces. And it can be easily used with the Cricut Joy app or the Cricut Design app, which I prefer to use because it just has a lot more options on it. But you can use it on your desktop, your phone, your iPad, whatever. There are tons of preloaded designs in the Cricut app. If you're stuck for ideas and I'm not sure what to do, you can really just, it's super easy. You can just click a design, pick your materials, load your materials into the Cricut, press go, and you are good to go. As you can see here, I was looking at the snowflake wall hanging project and this is adorable and doesn't take up any space when you need to store it because it stores flat because hello, it's paper. In my case, I wanted to do a snowflake sticker on the front of my box along with the word holiday just you know, to give it a little extra pizzazz. So I needed some smart vinyl and smart materials are great because you don't need a Cricut mat to use them in the machine. There's a little adhesive sort of sticky mat that you can use, you know, with, with other paper, but with smart materials, you don't need that mat. You just put the materials right into the machine. In the app, I actually duplicated the snowflake and then changed the size of a few. I wanted to try a few different sizes and I picked two of the larger sizes. The small size was just not that great to work with. So I put the designs in my machine and I pressed go and that's all that was necessary. It took my Cricut a little while to cut the designs because they were so intricate, but all in all, I think they turned out really well. And it's going to be really difficult to actually see the cutout designs on the vinyl because the vinyl is white and the backing is white. And I totally wasn't thinking, but you'll see they turn out really, really cute. After the machine was done cutting, I cut the smart vinyl so that I could put the transfer tape on it. And I actually did have to weed the little indents out of the smart vinyl. Now, if you are printing something and you have the letter O, the letter, the little, the stuff on the inside of the O needs to come off the vinyl before you can put the transfer tape on there so you don't have a closed O. And I realize it's really difficult to see because of the white on white, but trust me, it needed to be done and you have to do this. So I very, very, very carefully took the backing off of the vinyl. You have to be really, really delicate and patient if it is a very intricate design like a snowflake. If it's just letters, it's a lot easier. But I sort of, see, see, you can see the snowflakes. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. From there, I grabbed my transfer tape and I wanted to see how much transfer tape I was going to need. The great thing about the Cricut transfer tape is it's not a, just a one-time use. You can reuse this transfer tape over and over again until it's not sticky anymore. Usually you can get like, six or seven uses out of one piece of transfer tape. And then I used my scraper tool to press my design onto the transfer tape. That way it comes off when I pull the backing, the vinyl backing off. And so I can transfer my design onto my container pretty neatly. So you need, you need to be sort of aggressive with the tra with the little, the tool. I mean, get in there with that tool so that you have your design come off completely with the transfer tape. So what happens now is you take your transfer tape, you put it on the container or whatever you're labeling and just put it right where you want it to go. Be very careful. And you can actually use your scraper, scraper tool again if you want. Um, I probably should have used my scraper tool here. If it's just letters, you can, be, you, can, you can just use your hand, but you need to take the transfer tape off of the design and leave the vinyl on the container. And look how cute it turned out. Snowflakes, I am obsessed with this. I think it looks adorable. I also added the word holiday, and now I think it's the best holiday storage box ever.
better than what I could buy. So here is my first holiday storage box ever in life. I've never had any holiday decorations before, and this is my first venture into it. This is actually what I think is a rather large box, but I will show you how I have it organized and how I reused some of the things that I wasn't going to be using as organizing solutions in other spaces and how I reused them to be holiday storage. First of all, it's in a really well sealed box with a nice gasket on the side of the cover so that it is pretty much protected against humidity, dust, all that other stuff. So what I did was I reused some drawer organizers that I wasn't using in other spaces simply because the drawers that I had used had changed sizes and they didn't fit quite as well. Instead of getting rid of them, I actually reused them to have holiday storage in them. So I've basically compartmentalized everything, which you know makes me really, really happy. So this is a little bit of ribbon that I've used on the top of the tree before. I don't know if I'll be using it again this year, but this is the only thing I really kept in its packaging and it's tiny little ornaments. And the only reason I kept this in the packaging is because it had the perfect divided box where all of these things were perfectly organized in here. So there was no reason for me to take this out of our packaging because we have one of those really skinny trees uh, these look really nice and they look really nice on like little tiny trees as well so that is in our first one and then we've got some compartments for our icicles that we put on the tree our eiffel tower ornament and this thing's for the lights and extra um, hangers for ornaments as well these are things that actually make the tree smell really good because we have an artificial tree so they're scented so this entire box Smells like Christmas, smells like evergreen, and I love it. What's great about this is you can just lift up compartments and get to the rest. And they make super expensive ornament organizers that you can buy. But if you already have a sock organizer, it's basically the same thing. If you want to, you can protect these a little more with some shredded paper or some newspaper to cuddle the ornaments a little bit more. Mine aren't super delicate. I do have one really nice blown glass ornament and I have a couple of ornaments that are actually made of glass, but I don't think these are made of glass. I don't think, but they're cute anyway. And these are my old sock drawer organizers and I reuse them for ornaments. Are they not cute? And you know what? This is pretty nice. I was really gonna rehome this, but I just said, hey, that's the perfect size for ornaments. Why not? So we've got this one as well, super cute. And if I need to get more ornaments, I definitely have room to grow in here. In this drawer, I was actually not using this little drawer and it was the perfect place for this tree, <laughs> which actually gets glitter everywhere. So I had to keep it in its own little compartment and the store was nice and perfect. And in this last compartment, these are so loud. They're like some little jingle bells that you can put in a bowl or wherever. You can put them around and beside them, ooh, we've got two little brush trees. I've got them all over the place and I've got some white brush trees and I also have a, the little tree skirt and a couple of our uh, stockings here. <laughs> and I am a big silver and gold fan, so everything you see I have silver, but you can, you know, make whatever color palette work for you in your holiday storage organizer. Um, you don't have to buy like a special holiday box. You can just add some red accents to your label, add some green accents to your label, depending on what color scheme you're going for. Some people love to do the blue. I love the silver and gold. That is all me right now. So um, that's how mine looks. Everything is well protected. And the layers are very satisfying. <laughs> there we go. And so I think in the future, I'd like to get some different ornaments. Uh, so I definitely have some room to grow here and here, and even possibly here. I can put this someplace else where I can put a little bit to the side. I definitely have room to have more ornaments and more decorations, especially those paper snowflake decorations I was talking about earlier in the video. I would love to add those to this box. And since they're collapsible and don't take up a lot of space, I can just stick those on top and it's not a big deal or even on the side, no big deal. And the box looks super cute with its personalized custom label on it.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some great ideas in starting your Christmas ornament or holiday storage collection. If you want to watch that video a few years ago of our first Christmas tree shopping, I will link it down below. It's a really fun video. Keep in mind, it was like one of the first videos I made like on my channel for Vlogmas ever. So it's probably not the best video, but it's really fun. And you get to see Clover as like almost a puppy. So it's really cute. Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. For more information about how you can get your own Cricut Joy and all the Cricut supplies and things you could ever want, visit the description down below. There'll be a link down there for you. And let me know what your favorite thing to do on your Cricut is. I made labels for all of my spice jars, and I think that's still my favorite. That's still like the best thing I've done with my Cricut. Like those spice jars are adorbs. I will link that video also down below. <laughs> okay, friends, happy holidays and happy holiday storage. <laughs>